Well, we're back on the river. Remember the last time we were here? We got our first ounce and we were so excited and we were looking for a modern goldsmith to help us make some rings. Well, we found a modern goldsmith. We found the modern goldsmith. The problem is, well, we failed. And I could tell you all about it, but it kind of hurts. So I'll just let you watch it and then let's not talk about it anymore, okay? <gasps> no way! Oh! <laughs> You know, I was like saying, what do I wear? You know, I want to make sure that I'm looking the best I can. Yeah. For this family, you know? And you do. <laughs> <laughs> so we got this gold, man. And we, it's like burning a hole in my pocket. Like, yeah. I just, and I can't stop handling it because it's so awesome. Yeah. It's like a nugget of You're gold that we made from the dirt. It's amazing. Yeah. So you are a modern goldsmith. Yeah, I am. I <laughs> that's my name. That's my that's my my uh, business name. So kind of the modern goldsmith kind of comes from using modern technology and kind of blending it with kind of old school goldsmithing techniques. Well, and that's what's cool is goldsmithing is as old as anything, right? Yeah. Like people have been yeah, working yeah. gold forever. Yeah, it's pretty cool like reading about old jewelry like in the medieval times or even in like um, ancient Egypt and everything like that. Like, it's been yeah. around forever. Yeah. You are like the perfect person to help us turn these gold nuggets. Yeah, it's beautiful. See, there's one, it's too bright, eh? And then, and then we got another 10 gram nugget. And we tested these with an acid test. It showed, you know, 22 or better. Yeah. So, I think there might be a little bit of other stuff in here, but not a lot. It's and I think you got most of it out. When I was watching your video, it looked like you did a really good job filtering a lot of that out. But we actually have to we actually have to knock it down. We gotta alloy this with something, right? And and what should yeah. we, like what carrot would be good to make a ring? Kind of the industry standard is 14 carat because it's like the nice blend of being hard and good for everyday wear. Because 24 karat gold is too soft traditionally yeah. for jewelry. So you know you alloy it down to like 14 karat, which is 58%. You're gonna have copper, you're gonna have silver, yeah. a little bit of zinc, yeah. and oh. you basically alloy it together to get, so it really depends on what you want your finishing carat to be. Do you want it to be 10 karat, 14, 18? Um, since you're wanting to make that stretch for all of you, I believe, you yeah. probably wanna go with a, not 18, maybe like a 14 or a 10. No, I wanna go 18. <laughs> I want like as much of our own gold as possible, but still having a ring that. Yeah. Because I think this uh, is enough. Say it was a three gram ring that was 18 karat. Only 75% of that is the gold. Correct. Right? So that's only 2.25 yeah, grams of gold. Yeah, you actually should be fine. So you're getting six rings, right? Yeah. 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 So I mean, actually, I mean, you probably easily could stretch that to 18 karat. Um, if that's the way you want to go, you get more of the color. Yeah. And the ring will look more closer to the nugget that you guys got. Yeah. We're going to smelt this all together into one big ingot of like alloyed 18% carrot. Ooh, we could test it with the acid after too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could. And it should land at the 18%. And then we're just going to like strap it on the back of a donkey and send it to you. <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds perfect. I'll be waiting around until about November to get that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, and then you are going to make some rings out of this. And cool. we were hoping it could be like this. <laughs> Is, can you make a ring like that? Yeah, I mean, um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit um, groundbreaking there. <laughs> cool, man. Well, we'll keep you posted. Hopefully within a week or so, we've got a new uh, alloy smelted and it'll be in the mail. All right, I can't wait. Okay, man, we'll catch you later. Yeah, see, see you ya. later. Leather and gold. That is a thing. The gold we made this year, 
26 grams ish. This is what we want anyway. 16 grams gold, 2.25 grams sterling silver, 3 grams of copper. That's going to give us 18 karat gold. So we have some copper, and I weighed that out. That's exactly 3 grams. And we're going to have to cut this little commemorative thing. It says 1 ounce, 925. And this thing is, oh, I love that. That thing, yeah, uh, 14.925 grams. So we're gonna need 1.075 grams off of this thing. Right there, try and cut that. Oh, you oh, did it! That was... Nice. Piece. Oh, yeah! <laughs> right on! 16 grams of gold, right there. <laughs> Nicely done, okay. What's bendy? It's very easy. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, 2.23. Whoa. I think there's something about like curing this little crucible. I should have looked this up first. Do you wanna like look it up right now? Nope. Okay, get it all in there. Okay, here we There's go. There's still some dust. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, look at it getting red already. Oh man, it's like melting. It. It's melting. Look at that little ball melted already. Oh yeah. It'll take a while for that big one probably to go. You're gonna melt them in together? Oh, look at them Ugh. melting together. This is the coolest! Oh! <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> like we're gonna send it over here to his buddy to go hook up with that other little ball. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Okay, add in the silver. Take your uh, add again. it like not into the lump, like add it to the side, you know what I, I mean? Know how to do that. You wanna move the torch? Just, like just, just tip it, it just drop it into the edge type of thing. Wait, but there's a... You can do it. No, not from <gasps> so high, Oops. good grief. <laughs> oh, oh nice. it's gone. It's gone, put it in. Okay, add, <gasps> add more. Wow, just like uh, don't, it don't don't throw it from way up high. Like you can <laughs> well, come it's, lower it's there. Hot. Did you get it all in there? Yeah, that's it. You sure? Now there's the copper. This is too easy. You gotta heat up your mold. I will. Okay, ready for copper? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> that, was, that, was <laughs> that was wild. Let's try it again. Oh my! Uh, <laughs> it just like uh, flashes. Oh. Come on, do it, do it. Yeah. Whoa, that was That's hot. crazy. Oh, it's turning green. Oh. Oh my goodness. I think we sprinkled around this more, so we might miss some of it. Look at how it just gets sucked in. Bro, zoom in on that. I am zoomed in. You gotta move right your in. torch a little bit, Dad. There's some underneath you. That's gonna make a big coin. Okay, did you guys put all the copper in there? I'm not sure why that is. I think it's because the copper. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Oh, it's cool. <gasps> it's boiling. <laughs> it's it was that's so weird that it's green. I wonder if that's supposed to be like I think I'm boiling the, burning the copper. Oh, that's not, not burn it, good. Right? Oh. Pour it up, pour oh, it up. Dump it, it so up? we can stamp it. Because you, you won't be able to stamp it when it's hot, you'll melt the brass. That is so cool. No <laughs> way. It doesn't look like gold. Why does it look so... No, it's kind of like all oh, got the heat from the oxyacetylene on there. We just got to polish it a little bit. Whoa. Swish up. There it is. Should be 21 point... Two five. <gasps> what? No! What did you do? Did I you think do? we burnt the copper. Uh, oh boy. You better ask Jordan. It's hot. I'm gonna clean it. Uh, well, it's gonna be fine, whatever it is. It's, it's fine. But black. it is kind of weird. Oh, maybe it's in there still. I'm pretty sure we lost half a gram of, of copper just trying to. Oh yeah, maybe there's like a film of stuff in here. Mm. Definitely not the same gold color though, hey? I mean, yeah, that's no, it's, to be expected. It's like different. 
Look at the gold luster of that one. That is cool. We just gotta send this to California. This is gonna turn into something amazing, just like that. So, we're back on the river, because <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with that gold. We can fix it, I'm sure, somehow. But we, we can't fix that gold right now. We don't have that gold. It's in the United States. So we need to get some new gold. And that's what we're here for. We're coming to get fresh, new, pure gold, and we're gonna not fail this time. Let's see. Not, like, oh, it's pretty good. That's small. That's okay. It's not, uh. I didn't mean you had to video it, I just was <laughs> showing it to you. It's actually pretty nice. What'd you get? Lots. Oh man! How many pieces are there there? Like 30 or 40? I didn't count them. Are there 30 or 40 that are actually like legitimate flakes and not specks? Yeah, this is, I don't know. Yours, you got lots here too, Kez. Mm -hmm. You got tons. Okay, super duper duper close up cam. The super duper close up. Wow. Pretty awesome. Ooh, oh, it's like a puppy. <laughs> puppy. Look at that. Okay, it's time for the dream mat to help us out a little bit. We're gonna high bank. I think we found the spot. I don't know. It it's a good spot, but it you know we do one run and we get half a gram, and then we do another run, and we get a gram, then we do another run and it's a half gram, then we do another run and it's three quarters. So I don't know if that's just the ground, you know, the changes or if like we're just trying to like dial it in. I want to get a gram or more every time we do a run. Uh, but maybe we'll just keep going and we'll keep testing. Here's some bits. There's some. There's a little bit. There's a nice piece. Right there. Not a lot. Hmm, hopefully it's all. Yeah, see, there's always some up in there, but it's not lots usually when it doesn't look like there's a lot of gold then there's not a lot of gold you know how sometimes you don't see a lot and then you're like yeah but it's probably all down in there mm. it's not normally like that Okay, we're doing something cool, Rose. We are, we're cleaning this out on the spot. Like right now. On the spot. Like we're high banking it, and then we're Miller tabling it. Julia is doing a magnet run to get rid of black sand. That is, <laughs> that is wild. Show me that again. That is a lot of black sand. Okay.
This we transferred three times underwater. Because Dan Hurd says you gotta do it totally dry or underwater. Well, that and looks cool. I do what Dan says. <laughs> but that's pretty darn clean. But see how it clumps? Like it kinda yeah. once you transfer it with a magnet. It doesn't flow smooth anymore. It just huh. clumps up like that. It's very interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. So basically, there's no gold in there. So that is totally clean. What I'm thinking about doing is making up my own homemade batch of thermite. We actually need to mill this down. And we can do that because we have a rock tumbler. And we just need to put some, I don't know, something in there that's really hard. And then we should be able to grind this down into a powder. And that's what we really want, is a powder. Hmm. But it all starts right here. Okay, I got something else to show you. Okay. Get out of there. She's not touching the mat. She's not touching the mat. Well, I think this is 30 or 40 mesh minus. <gasps> yeah, so this actually has gold in it. So these are the big flakes, I guess. Wow. Yeah. That is pretty stuff. Mm -hmm. is a half gram of gold right yeah. there. We are hoping for a gram. Anyways, that's just one run. We're gonna go all day. We ran a few more runs and we came home and then we did like, I don't know, eight months worth of stuff. <laughs> and we're, we're only, there's a few reasons why, but anyways, we're back at it. And how much gold did we get? Did we get enough for rings? It's a good pan of gold and it is. 13.3 grams. Okay, to recap, because it's been a while. Last year we got our first ounce, almost. And we smelted it. And then we alloyed it. And we talked to Modern Goldsmith. We had the perfect plan. We sent him the gold. And the gold didn't work. It was broken. So we talked to Dan. And Dan Hurd said, yeah, you're, you didn't smelt it very good. You suck at smelting. That's basically what he said. So we played around because we didn't have to send all the gold. We, we have some of the old gold that we smelted badly. And we've been playing around, and I think we smelted it again, and we smelted it better. But we also collected another 13.3 grams. So, like, there's no doubt we're making rings. There's no doubt. But what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna remelt the old gold, the piece that we didn't send to Modern Goldsmith. We're gonna play around, we're gonna like tap it out to see if it will actually shape and form. Cause that would, that would prove that we re-smelted it and like fixed it. And then this other gold, the 13.3 grams, if we don't need to, I'm not gonna smelt it right now. I'll keep it like this and maybe we'll smelt it later in another one and I'll show you like the proper way to do it. The way Dan said. This is the old gold that was broken and we re-smelted it. Oh man. Oh. <gasps> Careful. 8.75 grams. And the last time when we smelted it and melted it, we just poured it into water and it made all these funky little beads and shapes. Boy, I sure like those. Yeah, keep the heated back in there. Oh, that's yeah, good. That's, that's good. Yeah. Lot. 
That looks very cool. Look at it starting to get red. Yeah, put a little more. Oh my. Look at it. Look at it starting to melt. And it all oh, sucks shit. together. Look at it. Oh. I think if if there was reactions happening, like if there was impurities that were being reacted with the flux, you would see it on the surface of the gold. You would see like stuff happening. It looked like it was alive. Last yeah, time. whereas the gold right now is just gold. Yeah, because really we're just melting it now. I feel like we've smelted it properly last time. <gasps> what was that? That's cool. That is weird. Wow. Yeah. Oh. It's good. That's good. Take it off. Tiny little. Okay, turn off. Turn off. Turn off. It's like that's a flux. half and half. That's a flux. Yeah, there's oh, a little flux. A little pool of flux on top. There it is. It's so dark now. Didn't anybody else smell the burning hair? No. I didn't smell any. I smelled that. Ow! <laughs> okay. Wow. Look at that. So, Kez, you start tapping it. Let's see. Good grief. <laughs> Any cracks in there yet? Nope. Good. Let's keep going then. You're whacking it pretty hard. Yeah, and it's not cracking. This is, this seems like very good to me. Mm -hmm. Like I'm making a coin right now. Okay. I can see it making marks in. Yeah, here it's flattening out. It is not cracking. Like this looks like real gold, okay? It's not cracking. This is not this like is that no epic cool cracked face. frowny face. This is actual, the th actual thing. We should actually make it into the shape of a coin. Well, we are making a coin. Yeah, we should make a coin. But like we should like round then, out the oh, sides. And then we could etch my face into it. Look at that, eh? <laughs> That's awesome. A nine gram gold coin. We're gonna make the rings. The rings are coming next, but they're gonna be in the next video. So come back, next video, we're gonna be wearing some blingy gold rings. <laughs> nice. Oh wait, do it again. Let me hold it. Nice. We did it.